It began with a demo of a vocal effect used by a popular musician. Now, over two years later, we finally have a tutorial. Hello there, this is Xiao, and today we're making the Wooden Toaster voice. Remember, if you're lost or you're new here, please check the tutorial archive. So let's get to it. Here we have our example, Wooden Toaster's Nightmare Night. Now let's start with the performance. To truly get this right, you have to be Glaze himself. Failing that, any competent male vocalist will do. Now, Glaze is British, so assuming you are not British yourself and you want to be super authentic, you have to use a British accent. But note that his accent isn't particularly strong. Like, he's not super cockney or anything like that, so go easy on it. Also, his singing voice is a bit on the soft side, kind of breathy. So keep that in mind. It's easier to hear on some of his other songs. Now, recording. Glaze generally uses a dynamic mic for his performances, specifically a Shure SM58. I have an SM57, which is very similar. Most dynamic mics are fine. I've already recorded a performance, this here. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell and an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. I didn't bother with the British part. Now for the meat of the effect. Take your vocal and put it in your manual pitch correction plugin of choice. In my case, New Tone. Now that your vocal is in here, lock each note to the nearest semitone. Correct any pitch problems. That'll take me a little bit of time, so bear with me. Last without the proper care, a royal farewell and an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. Sounds about right to me. And then turn down the pitch variation to almost nothing. You don't want it completely flat, but fairly flat. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell and an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. Then render out your vocal. But we're not done yet. Take your whole vocal sample and pitch it down an octave. This song is in D, so we'll be pitching the whole thing down to the next lowest D. Living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate sp Sounds pretty cool. And then we pitch it up a fifth to the A in this case. In the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell and an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. And then once you have three vocal tracks, put them into separate mixer tracks and then route those tracks to a bus track. Let me show you what I mean. So we have these three tracks here and they are all currently going to the master, so I will move these over to this one and this one next to it and this third one. All right, and I've already pre-balanced these, so basically you just turn it down Turn them down so that they all sound good together. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. You can also experiment with panning a little bit. She's living in the past so you won't last with...
makes it a little bit wider. Now to do the vocal stutter. This is done by slicing and copying the vocal samples. This is much easier to do if you have the tempo grid set correctly. For this song, we're at 99 beats per minute. So we'll just be slicing a little bit after the second syllable in prepare, which is this here, and copying it a few times. She's long to prepare. I might have to zoom in a little bit. Long to prepare. That sounds a little weird. There we Long go. to prepare. Let's just extend this out a little. Long to prepare. Long to prepare. To prepare. To prepare. To prepare. Have long to prepare. Sounds pretty good. It'll be easier if the vocal sample is lined up correctly. <laughs> but I think it sounds all right. Have long to prepare. Close enough. Now to the bus track. Like I just mentioned, all three of these tracks are routed to this track here. So first we apply a little vocal EQ. It's usually just a high pass filter and a dip around three or four hundred. Vocals don't generally need much. Have long to prepare. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell. Sounds all right. Then we apply some distortion to color it and add a little high frequencies. For this, I'm using Fruity Wave Shaper, but you can use any distortion plugin as long as you apply it gently. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. It's subtle, but it's there. Then we add, comp add a compressor as needed. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell. And last, we'll apply a de-esser to control that sibilance. She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal f Before? She's living in the past so you won't last without the proper care. A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't- I think it's a nice improvement, especially if you're going to be having it in a mix, it'll play nicer with everything else. So now that we have all our processing in place, we'll compare it to the original to see if it sounds okay. I'll be doing a little jumping back and forth. She's living in the past so you won't last without the, the, prop, the, proper care. without the proper care A royal, a royal farewell in a, a royal farewell in a royal farewell A royal farewell in a royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare As you can hear there's a lot of high frequency in the original so you might have to boost your EQ a lot. A royal farewell in an spell you won't have long to prepare. A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have A royal farewell. A royal farewell. A royal farewell in a royal farewell. A royal farewell in an a royal farewell in an animate spell you A royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have a royal farewell in an animate spell you won't have long to prepare. To prepare. To prepare. I think it sounds pretty good. Now, you don't have to use the exact same power chord notes of root, fifth, and octave for the copies. For example, you can just use octaves. You try your best, but it's not quite there. You kick a hoof and say it's just not fair. A simple mare living simple dreams. A rumor that's not quite as it seems. Or you can create a more interesting vocal harmony. Hold on, I'll be there soon. Just hold on, I'll be there soon. Hold on, I'll be there soon. Just hold on, 
I'll be there soon. Don't be afraid to get creative, but let me know what you think in the comments, and don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. And if this is your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe. I post new videos on Thursdays to give you the tools and inspiration you need to make great audio. So in my next tutorial, I'll be doing another highly requested effect, the Kylo Ren voice. Until then, have fun and keep making sound.